Hello, sports fan Kevin P. Fred Music here for Friday Night Review. We are at the world famous October 1st Creation Con, Star Trek something or other, and we're going to go inside and talk to some very special dealers and very special merchandise, and maybe get a couple of interviews along the way. Come with me, won't you? We have a special one-on-one -on -one interview. We're very pleased and proud to get this. We have, ladies and gentlemen, from Deep Space Nine, Mr. Colmini. Colmini, how does it feel to have gone from one Star Trek show to another, kind of a bridging of the generations? All right, then. Um, let's see. How about that uh, Avery Brooks? Do you think his character will develop a little bit more this season? That's what we all thought. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Colmini. A big hand for Mr. Colmini. Taking a look at the merchandise like we have in. Excuse me, sir. Hi, what's your name? Well, I'm just a guy. You're just a guy. Just a guy. Just a guy. Can we call you Bob for argument sake? Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. Spock. Right. Come in Spock. Spock. Yeah. Okay, then. You like Star Trek? Star Trek's okay. Big fan of Star Trek? Oh, I like the original series. You like the original series? What is your favorite episode of Star Trek? <laughs> okay, so, uh, what's good? Uh, City on the Edge of Forever is pretty good. City on the Edge of Forever. Excellent, excellent. Hey, check out these bloopers, guys. You can't beat this. Checking out some bloopers. Where did you get these bloopers? Various sources. Okay. Various sources. Would these sources happen to be illegal by any chance? Not at all. No. Not at all. Heads so, of studio. Heads of state. Heads, heads of state. So, of course, you have permission to air things like Forever Yamato here. Absolutely. You, you could just nothing illegal about it? No, nothing at all. That's fine. No, as long as there's a uh, manufacturer's name on it, no problem. And the manufacturer is Sub? Sub. Sub. <laughs> Excellent, then. Well, thank you very much. Beautiful, sunny Bellevue, Washington. It's October 1st, my sister's birthday. Everybody's happy. Everybody's here. We're going to go back into the booths here, take a look and see what we've got going on here. Excuse me, sir. What, what is the biggest selling piece of merchandise you have here today? What's hot? What's happening? <laughs> Let me look at my, oh, my calendars. Your calendars. A 1993 calendar. What, what would someone want with a 1993 calendar? They'd have to wait like another 200 years before it would be accurate. They, uh, they buy them for the pictures. For the pictures. Yeah. We sell an awful lot of these. Uh, hey, this, this is a used one here. A used picture. calendar. So in case you know, they have appointments that they've forgotten about over the past year. They've got it handy. This is, I sold two of these already today. That's my most popular one. Most popular one. They've sold two of them. There's a wrap of time. Excellent. And we had a third one, the guy, uh, one of the other dealers next door wanted one. What, what's the one piece of Star Trek merchandise you've always wanted and just don't have? Boy, that's a good...